this is Jeopardy! Hello once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another edition of Jeopardy! right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again. Alright, last time we played this, the video game version of this, we did pretty well. Fortunately, we did not come up with the win, but we're trying to turn things around on this one. We're up to $82,805 on this playthrough. And we're gonna see how we do on this one today. So let's jump right into it. Let's switch our players up. We'll do, um, we got Kelly and we got Ann. Two good players and let's get things started here. Let's play some Jeopardy. Of course, you know, one daily double on the board in the first round. This is still probably one of my favorite versions of the Jeopardy set, but here's the categories. We have Suburbia. Beauty tips. Are you Shakespeareanced? Country music. Ugh. Author's works. Me. And finally, artist and their works. Wow. A definitely like art sort of like culture filled round of Jeopardy on this one. All right, we're gonna get started with. Uh, let's go ahead and get the ugly one out the way. Country music 200. This 14-year-old female singer won a 1996 Grammy for Best New Artist. Uh, who is Leanne Rhymes? Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. 400. In 1972, California Governor Ronald Reagan granted a full pardon to this Okie from Muskogee. Uh, that is... Who is Merle Haggard? See, all my country music knowledge comes from doing karaoke over the years. I have a true story. I used to be a karaoke jockey, a KJ. It's not like a DJ, except I did karaoke shows for folks. And the only thing I learned anything about country music was from listening to people sing it all the time. Because I live in the South, and that's just what they do. They prefer their country music. So any country music knowledge, I learned from doing karaoke shows. So this one may not be as bad as I think it is, but we'll see. We'll go for it again for 600. 1995, Vince Gill recorded I Will Always Love You, a hit duet with this woman, the song's composer. And Callie beat me to it. She got it wrong? Wow. Mm, I feel like I should know this. Was this was it Shanann? No, it was, it was Dolly Parton. Okay, I would have been wrong. So I'm glad I saved my money. Anne's got control. Country music for 800. This redheaded stranger wrote "Crazy" for Patsy Cline. Um, who is Willie Nelson? My brain blanked for a second. And finish it for a thousand. On May 31st, 1991, this forever and ever a man singer married his longtime manager, Lib Hatcher. Uh, I think that's Randy Travis. Yep, it was. And with that, Kelly gets out of the hole. She's up to 400. And we're no more country music for now. Thank God. All right, let's go. Shakespeare is for a thousand. The reunion of Leonuts and his wife, Mom. Warms hearts in this Shakespearean tale. And I know that I botched that name horribly. What is the winter's tale? Callie, go again. Uh, beauty test for a thousand. Protect your skin by wearing a sunscreen with SPF of 15 or higher. SPF standing for this. What is sun protection factor? There we go. Hooray as the audience goes wild. Um, let's go Beauty Tips 800. We'll go backwards up this one. This may be in a good get a cup of tea, but as hair like that, it will dry it out. Uh, what is lemon juice? I had to think what you put in a cup of tea. Speaking of tea, I need to make some later. I'll do that after the game. Anyway, Beauty Tips for 600. A little dab of this on a pimple usually makes it diminish overnight. Um, what is toothpaste? Oh, 
Huh. Toothpaste gets rid of pimples. Huh. You learn something new right here on my channel. Beauty tips by a guy who doesn't do anything about makeup. Thanks, Jeopardy. Beauty tips for four. Doing this 100 times before going to bed like Marsha Brady did can cause damage. What is brushing your hair? Up to 4,200. I think this is one of the best starts I've had to this game in a while. Beauty tips for two. The space between these should not be tweezed to the width of one, one eye, not two. Uh, what is eyebrows? And I think I just swept the category. Well, I guess I can blame my girlfriend for that one. Thanks, Sonny. Yeah, she, she's, a fat, she's a fashion person, so... Any beauty tips? I learned from her. Again, none of my own personal experience. Speaking of experience, are you Shakespeareist for 200? Something is rotten in the state of Denmark in this play. What is Hamlet? Uh, are you Shakespeareist for four? Published in 1600, it's Shakespeare's comedy of weddings and fairies. Mm. Oh, what is a Midsummer Night's Dream? I was like, wait, fairies! Sorry, I had a Mr. Crocker reference, and I was like, wait a minute, I know that one. Hey, Shakespeare's for six. At the end of this play, Octavius and Anthony found, find Brutus's body. Uh, don't know this one. The response was Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Our Shakespeare's for 800. In this play, the servant Sevilius is sent to Lord Lucius to ask for help for a cash strapped Greek. Uh, Callie says, whatever she said, it was wrong. Alright, um, Anna, myself. And nobody. Her response to was Timon and Athens. Timon and Athens. Alright, halfway through the first round, let's continue on with artists and their works for 200. 1962, group of five Campbell suit cans. It was Andy Warhol. That I've learned from playing enough game shows. Uh, artists and their works for four. 1891, a street in Tahiti. Callie. Is it Monet? Nope. Paul Gawkin. And she's back out of the hole again. Back to even. And we're going to Artist for Six. 1948. Christina's World. Hmm. I got nothing. Good response who's Andrew Wheath. Andrew Wheath. Kelly? Uh, Arthur, Arthur's works for a thousand. Galapagos. Uh, Callie says... Something incorrect. I didn't recognize any of those authors, so I'm going to stay out of this one. And it's all yours. Go for it. Go ahead. Go on. No? Fine. Kurt Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut. All right. And uh, Kelly still got control. Suburbia for 800. As in an NWA album title, a lot of rap came straight out of this LA suburb. What is straight out of Compton? Crazy mother. I can't say that. It's a pregnant show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not going that far. 6,000 for me. I'm saving Suburbia for later. Let's get back to artists and their works for 800. 1931. The Persistence of Memory. Uh-uh. Callie, Callie says, who is Dolly? Dolly. <laughs> is that the same Dolly saying Dolly Pitbull's always talking about? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, suburbia for 600. Whitefish Bay on Lake Michigan is a suburb of this Wisconsin city. Uh, what is Green Bay? No. Believe it or not, my first wrong answer of the game. 
combo breaker. That face at the same time. Callan says, "Was it Milwaukee?" I have no idea. It was either Milwaukee or Madison. I'm sure. I think Milwaukee's right on the coast line. So. And that's time for a Oh, it was Milwaukee. Ha. Huh. I've been right on my second guess. All right, Callie, go ahead. Artist in their works for a thousand. 1911. I and the village. Sounds like a painting you'd find in Minecraft. Anyway. Uh, and buzzes in. And gets it wrong. Wow. A rare sight, folks. Both computer players in the hole. And me over 5,000. Uh, I don't know how long this will last, but hey, we're going to try to make it work. At least try the best we can. Quick response to is Mark Chagall. Mark Chagall. All right. So, we're out of artists and their works. How about authors' works? Yep. The Stand. The Stand. I have no idea who wrote it. It would be it. That was a Stephen King novel. Huh, okay. It sounded like a Tom Clancy pick, but I, I could have been wrong. Anyway. And Callie finds the Daily Double. Better her than I. She's betting 352 on this clue. Idols of the King. I'd say Tennyson. It was Tennyson. Well, Callie got herself out of the hole. She's got $152. Let's see what she does with it now. And Suburbia for 400 Long a suburb of Dallas-Fort Worth, it shares a name with a suburb of Washington, D.C. Uh, what is Arlington? Of course, Arlington, Texas, where Hank Hill's from from King of the Hill, and Arlington National Cemetery, which is in Washington, D.C. Only reason I connected the two. Um, let's finish author's work for 400. Well, not quite. The Last of the Mohicans. That was, um, somebody buzz in so I can see the choices. Yeah, it was Cooper. James Frank Moore Cooper. And now we'll finish off his work for 200. Gone with the Wind. Uh, who is Harper Lee? No. Oh. I just asked this. Now, this was on an episode of... Currently, at the time I'm recording this, I'm actually watching the classic episodes of Sale of the Century when it first went into syndication. I'm on week, like week uh, 11. They just asked this question. Margaret Mitchell. Margaret Mitchell. Oh, gone with the wind. All right, two clues left in suburbia. Let's go for 200 first. The original Drew Carey Show theme song was Moon Over Parma, a suburb of this city. What is Cleveland? Of course, Cleveland rocks. And now, last clue for a thousand. In 1814, steam ferry service made these NYC Heights the world's first commuter suburb. Was it Prospect Heights? No, it was Brooklyn Heights. And Amy picks up a thousand dollars, and that is it. First part of the Jeopardy round is over. I'm in the lead with 5,800. Anne's in second place with 600. Callie's in third place with $152. And anything could happen. And double jeopardy. So let's go to it right now. Double jeopardy round. Two daily doubles on the board. Cash rounds, of course, are double. And these are our categories. We got rock. Genetics. Album of the year Grammy winners. Okay. Chad in Germany, the countries, I assume. And finally, opera with old school rap. Who put... Okay, first off, before we continue, who put this hodgepodge of categories together? Because this, this is just... This is this is wrong on so many levels. It's like... It's like having sex in an elevator. It's wrong on so many levels. Anyway... Kelly would go on to you. Go ahead and pick a category. Grammy, you were winning for 2000. 2000. They're two against nature. Um. Who was Steely Dan? Steely Dan. All right. Wouldn't have got that one. Kelly? 
Uh, offer for 1600 A highlight of Enrico Casaro's career was his rendition of the aria Vesti La Grubia in this Vancalo opera. Uh, Aya Pagaligi is correct, and she's at 1752. Sounds like an important year. Old school ref for 1600. In 91, the Bring, Bring in the Noise Anthrax brought the medal, and this group, led by Chuck D, brought uh, the rep. What is Public Enemy? I had to think of the group's name. Um, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, yeah. Um, again, we're saving the old school rap for later. Let's do Al. I do like all the music sort of categories. We got rock. Which, again, that could be about actual rocks versus, like, rock music. Well, we got rock, album of the year, opera, old school rap. It's a musical category. You figure out how genetics and Chad in Germany fit in that one, because I don't know. Uh, album of the year, Grammy winners, 400. 1975, he's still crazy after all these years. Let's take a shot. Who is Ted Nugent? He is still crazy after all these years, personally. But, eh, I was wrong. Um, Kelly or Annie? Correct response? Paul Simon. Okay. I would have probably guessed him last on that one. Uh, Graham of the Year, 800. And it's the Daily Double! This is where I fail. Because this is where I think I actually know my Graham of the Year winners. And I'm going to make a stupid decision. So, I'm going to play conservative. I'm just going to risk 500 on this one. 500 on this clip. 1995. This Alanis Morissette album. Uh, that's Jack and Little Pill. Dang it! Why did I not bet more? That's okay. Got 7,500. I got the lead. By quite a bit still. Album of the year 12. 2001. Various artists with this soundtrack. Oh, that wasn't Titanic. Oh, brother, we're out there. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, yep. As soon as I saw the answer come up, yep. So, brother, we're out now. Great song. And Chad in Germany for 1,200. 2% of Germans and 50% of Chadians are members of this religion. Uh, Protestants? No, Islam. Islam and Callie is starting her comeback. All right, opera for 12. This Mozart opera about an insatiable lover is also known as The Reprobate Punished. Who is Don Giovanni? What is Don Giovanni? All right. Callie? Chad Germany for 1600. In Chad, this demographic benchmark is 49. In Germany, 77. Um, what is life expectancy? Yeah, because we deal with a lot of disease in Chad. Um, let's go back to Grammy of the Year for 16. 1996, Her Falling Into You. 96, who was that? that Whitney? No, that was Celine. It was Celine. Callie can catch me now, money-wise, for the Daily Double. She goes for it. Rock for 2000. The title of a 2001 Busta Rhymes album or the British group that made the 1971 album Nursery Crime. Uh, what is Genesis? I actually remember that album because I actually bought it. Pretty good one. It was part of my original CD collection before it got stolen. Sad face. It was epic. I had some good stuff in there, too. Rock for 16. Almost famous director Cameron is wed to Hearts Nancy, and star Kate Hudson is wed to this 90s group's Chris Robinson. Uh, I think it's R.E.M. Nope, Black Crows. Black Crows. Sorry, I'm going to try to make, make up some distance in the old school rap category and get there. Genetics for 1600. It wasn't until 1956 that it was established that human cells contained this diploid number of chromosomes. What is. 
23? No, not 23. It's 42, you idiot. Yeah, that one hurt a little bit. That cost part of my lead. Oh, 46. It was doubled. Half of them. All right. Ah, uh, Callie, go. Opera for 2,000. In love of him, this, this sickly Mimi dies in the arms of her lover, this poet. Callie says, who is? Waterflow. And that's correct. And she's now behind me by $148. What happens? Rocks for 1200 Her 1993 album, Yes I Am, answered a personal question. Uh, uh, uh. Who is Melissa Etheridge? Melissa Etheridge. Should have put the country music category in the second half of the show with all these music stuff up here. Opera for 800 Act 2, Scene 2 of this opera begins with the song Gloria al Egadi Erasad, or Glory to Egypt and to Isis. What is Aida? Aida. I think I saw that in theater one time. It was a really good production. But it was so long ago, I, I don't remember much of it. Also, we're at for 800. Techno Scratch was a signature tune by the Knights of this piece of platter spinning equipment. Uh, what is Turntable? And that increases my lead by 1,000. Uh, let's go to Rock for 800. And we found the other Daily Double. All right, you know what? I'll risk my lead. Let's see, I have a $1,052 lead over her right now, so. I'm going to bet $1,052. Nope, $1,050. No, 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 wait, because... She has a uh, correction. Let me, let me try. 9.47. That's what I'm betting. 9.47 on this clue. There it is. I'm doing backwards math today, folks. 9.47. Here's the clue. On this group's second album, 2000's Mad Season, the number in this name was spelled out. Uh, what is Matchbox 20? Dang it again. I should have just bet it. I should have bet it all, because I knew that one. Rock for 400. In a series of rabies shots followed his biting the head off a bat during a concert in 1981. It was Ozzy Osbourne. That's right. And now, um, opera, finish it off 400. The world's five largest opera houses are in the U.S., with this one in New York City being large capacity of 4,065. What is the Metropolitan Opera House? Alright, um, genetics for 400. Men get their X chromosome from this family member. What is their father? I was just guessing, like, it's only 400, so I, I don't sweat for. I don't sweat the top ones that much. The rest of them, yeah, I have issues. Correct response was their mother. Yeah, the Y comes from their father, I guess. Alright, uh, genetics 800. Just to be 21, a condition where a person has an extra copy of a chromosome 21 is also called this syndrome. What is Down syndrome? All right, uh, genetics for 12. Those controversial cells are obtained from human embryos at the bioclast stage. Mm. God says, what are stem cells? That's right, and she's over the $10,000 mark. Callie's been giving me a run for my money on this one. Uh, Chad Germany for 2000 General Idris Derby is the president of Chad. General Schroeder holds this German position. Um, what is Chancellor? Ice. 
Neat is that one. Over 14,000 now. Uh, Gen X, 2,000. The genesis of this abbreviated HTP was a 1984 conference in out of Utah. Uh, human Genome Project? Mm hmm. Callie beat me to the buzzer on that one. <clears throat> All right, five clues left. Chad, Germany, free energy. The approximate number of miles you would have to fly to get from Chad to Germany. Um, I'd say 12,000. Nope, 2,000. Not that far away. All right, close battle there. Up to 13,352. Old school round for 12 hours. This Grandmaster, partner of Grandmaster Melly Mel, could prepare a quick mix of musical sound bites. What is Grandmaster Flash? Again, I'm trying I'm trying to make sure I get all those. Chad Germany for 400. German is the official language of Germany. Arabic and this European one are the official languages of Chad. I'd say Dutch. That was French. They speak French in Chad. Who knew? Alright, old school rap time. Which one is it? 400. Hip hop music grew up around two types of performers the DJ and this one, as in Hammer. What is the MC? And now for the last clue for 2000. Dougie Davis became the original human beatbox with his new last name. What is Dougie Fresh? And that's a sweep, folks. So at the end of the Double Jeopardy round, I have a probably one of the best leads I've ever had. $18,047. Callie's got $13,352. Anne's got $1,000. But anything can happen as we move into Final Jeopardy. Let's take a look at today's Final Jeopardy category, and it is this. Famous Americans. Famous Americans. You know what? For once, I'm actually not going to risk a thing, and I'm going to hope Callie misses this one. So I'm not bet a thing. Let's go. Let's see the clue. May none of... I'm stopping it for just a second to read the clue to you guys. May none but honest and wise men ever rule under this roof is from this man's 1800 prayer. You know what? I have no idea. I'm going to go with it. Who is Hamilton? Correct answer is John Adams. Okay, didn't cost me anything. But 18047 and I didn't win? Really? Wow. Callie got her correct. She wagered 6023 Gives her 19375 Enough to win the game. And Anne won with 54 But hey, a pretty good percentage this time. 81% accuracy. And I got a new trophy. Uh, got to the final finisher. Got to the Jeopardy round 10 times. So I got the ribbon there. And I had better percentage than her, and she still won with that the final bid. Oh, well. Those are the bricks, I guess. All right. Well, didn't win that one. But again, made it very close to the end. Just should have wagered something, but I would have lost it anyway. So it wouldn't have mattered. So I'm going to have to uh, game total now of $100,852 here on Jeopardy. And that is going to do it. Hope you guys have had fun for the last half hour. Thank you for watching another episode of Jeopardy here on my channel. Make sure if you like the video, give it a like down below and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to subscribe for more great game shows here on my channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss a great episode of Jeopardy or any other game shows I have here on my channel. And until the answers come flying our way once again where we must provide the questions, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another edition of Jeopardy. So long, folks.